So this is Picky Rocks. I don't know why it's called Picky Rocks. Maybe someone out there can uh, can tell me. We're in Bangor, in Northern Ireland, not Bangor in Wales. And we're just around the sweep of the cove, I suppose, or the, the shore. And this would have been a really popular seaside resort in the early 1900s, just over 100 years ago. Why is this place significant? Well, because we know, as near as damn it sure, that it was on Picky Rocks where William Jackson Crawford took his own life. Uh, we know that because we have a death certificate saying that his body was found here uh, on the 31st of July in 1920 when he was 40 years old. The inquest came to the conclusion that he had killed himself using cyanide or potassium. And obviously he was a professor in a college that uh, had um, various chemistry courses so we assume he had easy access to those kinds of chemicals. It kind of been a very nice way to go. And it's sad really standing here thinking of this guy that I've come to feel I know quite well, deciding to walk down to these rocks. There's all that life up there, but here it feels quite quiet and lonely and take his life. So we know this is where he did it. We know when he did it. We know how he did it. But what we don't know is why he did it. And that is the mystery of William Jackson Crawford. I suppose that's the big mystery that I'm trying to solve, writing this novel and researching it. What did he find out? What did he hear? What did he see? What was he feeling? Why did he go from a successful, respected, quite well-known professor and published author, so passionately investigating the Golliher Circle, to a man who wanted to come here and leave behind his wife and his children and his job and his reputation and kill himself. In his last letter he said it wasn't because he doubted his findings. I can't help but wonder whether that might just be a case of protesting too much. Did he discover something about the Golliher Circle that made him realise it was over? Or did he believe so entirely in the afterlife that he just felt he'd be happier there than here? My search for the answers continues. And if you have anything you can tell me about the Piggy Rocks or Bangor or the history around here, if you know anything about William Jackson Crawford or his story or the Golliher Circle, then get in touch.